You got it, Jig. <laughs> Is it cold out here? Yeah, it's really cold. And the temperature's only gonna get colder. Shall we go camping? Yeah. It's so cold, all the plastic is frozen. Hopefully nothing breaks. You have to kind of insert the pole. The elastic's not very stretchy at this temperature. All right, got step one done. I better get this thing up and going. Whew. Oh, my lips are getting numb. It's hard to talk. The tarp's so frozen and crinkled, it's too small to fit in all the grommets. I'm having to yank on it for all my worth to get it to stretch and go where it's supposed to go. There we go. We got heat. Thank goodness. Well, it's four o'clock and we're already busting out the flashlights. Oh, good. Yeah, why don't you sit down right there? Here. Now, now I want you to sit down right over here. Is that warm? Here. Here we go. There you go, but you can sit back there. There we go. We were really slow getting started this morning. It took us a lot longer to get here than I anticipated. And it's already dark, it's 4.30. And it is bitterly cold. But we got the tent out with the stove on. Jacob's warm. <sighs> Finally, we're doing okay. All right, let's get in and get buttoned down for the night. All right, got a caribou hide down here on the ground so I can take my boots off. Oh, that really helps. Another hide to sleep on. Oh, I gotta take some layers off. It's hot in here. Oh. Well, Jake, what do you think? Are you warm? Good. Let's get our sleeping bags out. I'll let the sleeping bags puff up. I'm gonna put a thermometer up here so we can see how warm it gets in the tent. And I've got another thermometer I'm gonna put outside. Oh, oh, look at my arm. My arm is steaming.
Oh, that's right. We'll let that melt, get some hot water going. Up here, the very top of the tent, it's 98 degrees. The heat from the stove rises and collects at the top of the tent, so there's real extreme temperature differences in here. My head's kind of sweaty, but my feet are kind of numb. Let's put the thermometer down here and I'll show you the difference. So check it out here on the floor, it's right around freezing at 32 degrees. I have another thermometer here on the bed and you can see that this one's at 60 degrees. So that makes a huge difference in temperature, just being off the floor a little bit. Every inch off the ground you get in a hot tent, the warmer you're gonna be. That's why you use cots in these things. It makes a huge difference to be in a cot versus on the ground. Thermometer says we're right about negative 40. It is cold out here, guys, and it's only gonna get colder tonight. Oh my goodness, I went outside for just a few minutes without my balaclava on, and my ears hurt so bad. Oh, it happened so quick. It's a 138 degree difference between outside and inside. Uh, it's a little early for full-blown dinner, so we're gonna have pre-dinner. And uh, we're gonna do a traditional Swiss camping food called raclette. Raclette? Raclette. 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 Okay, it's pronounced raclette but basically it's broiled cheese on potatoes and bread. You can use raclette or gruyere or maybe even gouda. All the frost on my knife. Still cuts. I'd put some olive oil and salt on some potatoes here. We got the cheese, potatoes and breads underneath the stove. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, that smells amazing. Bread is just perfectly toasted. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that tastes so good. This is basically a fancy pantsy Swiss grilled cheese sandwich. That's so good. Mm. That is so warm and tasty. This raclette is so good. I almost forgot I got some salami to go with it. Oh yeah. Oh. It is so nice and warm in here, but the ground is so cold. My toes are frozen. This feels nice. Oh ho, negative 51. Oh man. Much, much warmer in here. It is so cold out there and so nice in here. You want some hot chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll get you some hot chocolate. So this thing right here is a water tank. You put a bunch of snow in here or water, whatever, and uh, it heats up against the side of the stove. And then you can just turn this, get hot water whenever you want it. You gotta admit that's awesome. It really is. We already got some diced onions and olive oil. There we go, we're gonna add some cut up reindeer sausage here. Are you getting too hot? Yeah. Okay, here, let's take your jacket off. Let's uh, open the window a little bit and we can go and shut the flue a little bit. This tent is made by Arctic Oven and the model is called the Igloo. And I've heard people claim it's the warmest hot tent in the world. And I think they're right. I mean, it's negative 51 outside and we're having to open the window and shut the flue on the stove box a little bit. I think the only way I can improve this tent is to have a battery powered fan on the roof to blow the hot air down and maybe more insulation on the floor. That's about it. I got the boiling bag rice. I'm gonna start cooking that up and uh, we're gonna have curry here in a little bit. All right. 
Whew. We got some mango curry sauce. We're gonna add to our reindeer and onions. This might be the first mango reindeer curry ever made. Ooh, bread's cold. I heat that up. We got reindeer mango curry. You want to try some of that, bud? You like that? Oh, that is good. You need to use a potty? Okay, let's get out and pee, buddy. It's going to be cold. There you go. Got your balaclava. All right, come on out. That's crazy. You go pee and your pee just starts freezing immediately. There's like this little pee snow that kind of dusts off it. All right, let's get back in. Looks like we've gotten down to about negative 55. All right. Oh, yeah. Here, get it. Here, hop in, buddy. Here, get, get back in. I'm a pretty lucky dad to have such a sweet boy who comes camping with me. <laughs> I may have bribed him with a lot of hot chocolate and cartoons, but I'm still grateful that he came. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out Jake's sleeping bag here, let it fluff up and warm up. This is the Snowy Owl from Feathered Friends. It's a negative 60 bag. It's, as far as I can tell, the warmest sleeping bag in the world. And Feathered Friends will even customize the length for you. So I had them shorten it quite a bit so it'll fit the boys. These are real serious sleeping bags, and that's what you want in this situation because when I go to sleep, this fire is gonna die down and I may not wake up in time to stoke it. So if you have really good bags, then you're not gonna have to wake up as much to stoke the fire. If you have crappy bags, you're gonna be waking up every hour to two hours to feed the fire. It's, it's kind of miserable. We had a lovely dinner, but we've got a lot of leftover rice. So I think I'm gonna make a little bit of dessert. Do you want some rice pudding? Mm -hmm. All right, I got some milk with a little bit of vanilla extract in it. And I've got all the spices in this bag. It's basically sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, some fennel seed, uh, a little bit of salt, and uh, lots of raisins. Basically, we're gonna boil that mixture until about 80% of the rice is broken down. Then we're gonna add a little bit of butter and we're gonna crack an egg in it, and it's gonna be rice pudding. Rice pudding's looking pretty good. Hold on. I need a batch All right. Now. Let that cool down a little bit, and then we'll have some beautiful rice pudding. All righty. That looks chilled. Hey, the rice pudding looks pretty good. Might be a few splinters in it and definitely a few caribou hairs, but other than that, it's good. I do like rice pudding. Do you like it? Yeah? Hold on, you got a caribou hair on your forehead. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Marshmallow I need to get a marshmallow stick and it's going to be cold. <laughs> That looks like negative 57 to me, maybe? Dang, it is serious. Oh, so brittle, it just snapped. Yeah, this is, a, this is a green switch. Look at that. Oh, it is so cold out there. I, I breathed in and it like was making me cough. Whew, that is no joke out there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just be really careful. Kind of spin them. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> well, buddy, it's late. I think we need to get you to bed. You look tired. You got marshmallow on your face. Look at all this. Ah, you tucked in there? You warm? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, good night, Jacob. Well, Jacob's asleep and I'm getting ready for bed. I gotta go get a bunch more kindling and tinder. If the fire goes out in the middle of the night and we're freezing, we need to be able to start it again really quick without getting out of bed.
I've got all my logs cut and split and some kindling, my fire starting equipment all within arm's reach so I can get the fire stoked up or restarted without having to get out of my bag. Another thing I did is I put a little bit of rope around Jacob's sleeping bag. His bag is so puffy I'm worried about him getting too close to the edge and maybe melting a hole in it or something. What I really need is a piece of chicken wire that I can just wrap around the stove to keep uh, people from accidentally bumping into it when they're asleep. But uh, I think this will do for right now. That fire is roaring. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. Calm the fire down a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of hunker down for the rest of the night. We've got about 12 hours before the sun comes up. So uh, we're just gonna kind of take it easy. I'm gonna read a book a little bit and get to bed. And just enjoy a quiet, warm night, hopefully. I just stepped outside to use the bathroom before going to bed and the thermometer says negative 58. Oh, oh, it's cold. I gotta get back in. Oh, oh, I stepped outside for one minute and it feels like I'll never be warm again. Oh. I'm going to bed, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Jake, you up? Had a little bit of a fitful night's sleep. Uh, I was just worried about Jacob, making sure he was okay. and So I was checking on him throughout the night and ended up stoking the fire pretty regularly. Still managed to get some decent sleep. And man, these sleeping bags are warm though. I really had nothing to worry about. Me and Jake both woke up too hot uh, in the middle of the night at some point. But it's about 9 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna get the fire cranked up. And then we're gonna get up and make some breakfast. Sun will be up in about an hour, hour and a half. Look at this. Got a little cold last night on the floor of the tent. Uh, the milk with the vanilla extract in it froze. Yeah, so did the curry. That's why you leave your water bottle next to the stove. I was planning on doing some fun demonstrations to show you how cold it is outside. So I brought a thing of little blowing bubbles Unfortunately, I left it too close to the door and now it is, it is hard as a rock. Hopefully we can thaw it out. go. That looks pretty good. Mm. Oh, that needle is buried. That looks like negative 59 to me. You take like one breath and your boogers just like whoosh, freeze up. Oh, it's hard on the lungs. I'm going to take a load of stuff back to the car and I'm going to go make sure the car starts. It's so cold. I'm really worried about the car starting. All right, let's see if it'll start. Moment of truth here. sketchier than I thought. You know, a lot of times when you watch these videos, you get the impression that I just run out and go camping. And really there's a lot of safety stuff that goes on in the background to make sure I can do this with my kids safely. I had to get this car specifically for this trip. This car has been winterized and fluids changed and new battery, and all this stuff specifically for extreme winter temperatures. If I had done this with my normal car, probably wouldn't have started and we'd be stranded at negative 59. In addition to the car, I've got a satellite phone. My wife knows where I am, when I'm supposed to check in, and what to do if I don't. And I've got people on standby who can come and pick us up if something happens to the car. It is so easy for equipment to break down at this temperature. And when it does, you have minutes before you start losing the tips of your ears and your fingertips. The cold's really hard on my lights and my video equipment. I have to have special cold weather batteries and when I'm not filming, I have to put the camera under my armpit inside my jacket to keep it from freezing. 
And even with that, I usually only get about five, 10 minutes of filming per battery. All right, it looks like we thawed out our bubbles. Uh, let's go and see what happens when we blow some slightly warm bubbles out there. We're gonna try to blow some bubbles here at negative 59 degrees. Check this out. <laughs> it just exploded into snow. It froze. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so hard to film this, but the bubbles, they go up in the air and within two, three seconds, they freeze and you can watch them crystallize and freeze. And then they kind of like deflate a little bit. Look at this. It's just like deflating. It's hard to catch them on the wand because the wand's warm and it melts them. But that was, that was cool. All right, now we're gonna try boiling water. Oh, oh, that made the coolest hissing sound. It's like made little bits of fine snow or mist just hanging in the air. Oh, dang. Man, that is so close to negative 60. It has bottomed out this thermometer. Oh, it is cold, guys. I was just out there for a few minutes and I am just cold. It is really aggressive out there. It is so cold out there. I cannot dawdle and film while I'm trying to put stuff away. So I'm going to go and put the camera down and I'm going to start packing up all of our stuff and get into the car here. I'm going to go ahead and take up as much stuff as I can before I take the fire and put it out and uh, get it out to the car. I'm going to make sure the car is nice and warm before I put this fire out. Get in there as good as you can. All right, guys, we're at that point where I gotta put the fire out. And once I do, it's a race against time to get everything put away before my fingers and feet freeze. Oh, my lips are going numb. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and do this thing. All right, now that we're loaded up, we're gonna see if I can four by four my way out of here in reverse. The car is so bumpy right now because the tires are flat. The part that was resting on the ground is frozen flat and you gotta drive a little bit and warm up the tires before they'll go round again. Oh, oh my toes are so cold. Yeah, these cars are not good insulators and the problem with driving in this extreme cold is even with the foot heater on full blast, my feet are freezing in my negative 40 boots. I've gotta like stop, pull over, and like warm up my, my toes. This is a jug of water I had on the floorboard of the car. It's frozen solid. Luckily Jacob's got little legs, so his feet are off the ground and warm. Your feet warm? Yeah. <laughs> my feet are warming up, I think we can do this. I hope you guys all snuggled up at home or warm and enjoying this video. If you want to see more great camping adventure videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And check out our camping and adventure playlist with over 50 extreme camping adventures with me and my sons. Great times. I'll put links in the video description below. 
But I gotta go inside and warm up my lip. It's getting really hard to talk to the camera again. All right, guys. See you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.